welcome to Microsoft Visual Basic tutorial. Therefore, what we shall be doing, I uh, will show you the process of creating a report that is in Visual Basic 6.0. Basically, what you need to do is to have data in a database and therefore the data should be displayed. That is, Visual Basic will read data from a Microsoft Access file and uh, that means you have to connect the, uh, the that is the VB to Microsoft Access and to do that you need to have a doc here and therefore you just go to uh, this here components and make sure that you have a doc this one here you tick Microsoft this if then you click on apply then cross therefore once you do that you will get this icon here this is the doc and therefore once you have this one you can be in a position to connect VB with the access then to create report you just go to project then you go to data environment therefore once you go to data environment here this dialog box launches you just go to connection one here right click then go to properties then we need to connect this to a database therefore you just choose this one microsoft jet 4.0 then you just go to next then select or enter database name therefore i'm going to select database name this is the uh, my i just go to my documents go to where my database is then I test connection. Therefore, connection is a success. Once you do that, you click on OK. Then you just go back here again. You right click. Then you, you go to add command. Now, once you go to add command, you also need to connect this command to your database. Therefore, you right click again. You just go to properties. Now, once you go to properties, the command one properties dialog box launches. Therefore, you just go to source of data, then choose database object. In database object, uh, Microsoft Access uses tables, and therefore you choose a table. Then object name, you will get uh, several tables connected to the database you connected earlier. Therefore, you just go to, I am using student details. Then I just click on apply, then I click on OK. Therefore, when I go to this point here, you'll be in a position to see all the feeds, all the feeds that are available in command one. That is from the table you have used. That means if you need to create several tables, then you have to add more commands on uh, this one. Like now, I can just go to command two. You see now this is for table one. Then I just go again. I go to properties then i choose database object as table object name i choose a different table like now display details then i click on apply okay therefore you can see now i have i can create several reports from here still you can do the same again just go to uh, add command then you connect the other table right click properties then you just go to table that is in database object then object name you choose the other table like parents then hit apply okay therefore whatever i have done so far you've been a position to see that i can create three reports from my three different tables from my database therefore i need to use one table the first table that is the student details to create a, a report then after now uh, uh, having done this that is connecting data you go to project then you hit add data report therefore this is our data report where we shall be in a position to drag and drop feeds and then rearrange them therefore from this point you arrange the the report that is the data report one uh, here you also arrange the the data environment dialog box here so that you can be in a position to drag and drop 
For now, we can just opt to cross this one, also cross this one, so that we can be in a position to have uh, enough room to see what we are doing. Uh, these are our tables from Microsoft Access database. Now, we can just have uh, drag this one this way, so that we can be in a position to see what we are doing. Now, the report, uh, the report section here, this is called the report header. Report section 2, this is the page header. Then you have the detail section. Remember, we, dr we drop our, we are supposed to drop our feeds in the report section. In the, that is in the detail section of the report. And that means I need to drag and drop my feeds here. Like for example, I need to bring this one here. Uh, this one. We just remove this one. The label. This is the student admission number. There. Then I just go to first name. This, this is the first name. We bring the first name somewhere there. Then can just bring the last name. Uh, up, uh, just cross to the other one. Then take the S class, this one here. S class, we remove the label. We are just left with the text box that way. Then we carry on. We can have the class this way. We have the class. Let's bring the class here. We have the class. Then, uh, after having the class, we can have the year. We drag and drop the year here. We have the year there. Then you can uh, put term. Term. We can put term there. That way. Then, just like we do in Microsoft Access, uh, we may opt to to pull this part here. This part, we pull this one up to that point. Then, after doing so, we can just have the to to, uh, to run about these labels here. This one. So therefore, I need to take the label. Then I can uh, write this one up to that point. Therefore, this is the this is the student name. Just go to properties. Then you can just go to caption. Therefore, this is student name. Then uh, I take another label. I just have this one here. This is the class. This is the student class. This is the student class. Then I hit again the label. This is the year. Before this is the year. The year. Then after the year, we have the term here. Term. We have the term. Then after having done that, you may you may opt to hold down control on your keyboard to select all then just go to font hit the three dots then you can make it bold bold that way to separate it from the other part then pull this down we want to put the header therefore you can just come and draw another repo there then this is uh, you can just call this one that is students can just call it a uh, Brighton secondary school students profile that way then just go to font here uh, can put a bigger font borrowed italics that way that is uh, so big just choose 12 that way therefore that one is that then you can save that one the other thing you need to do for your report 
to work effectively, you need to uh, be in this point here. Go to data source, data source here. You choose the data environment one. That's where we are getting our data source. Then data member here. Data member is command one. That's where we are getting table from, uh, our data from. Then don't forget, for you to view this form, you have to run, uh, you have to set this data report one as the startup uh, object. Therefore, you just go to properties. Then you go to startup object here. You choose data report one. Then you hit on OK. Now we can run and see what we have. You hit this button here. Therefore, you can see uh, that um, our report is actually working, but we need to remove this part here, this registration number here. If we just go back to this point, uh, we can remove that one. We need to go back to our data environment. Our data environment is here. Then we pull our registration number back here. We move this part. So then we can resize this and take it there. Uh, good, then save and then run. Therefore, it's been a position to see that um, we have created a report through uh, connecting it to Microsoft Access. And uh, this data here, uh, if you go to my documents, then you go to this part here. We just go to our profile database. This is our database. And then you go to student details. This is what we have. Therefore, it is reading data from this table. In that, when we add more guys here, if we add more guys here and see what happens, send to the year is 2020. This is term two. Then you can have one more, 145. Then you have Janet Baby, same, same two, 2020. And this is term two. That way, this is our Microsoft Access database. And therefore, when I just go back to my VB here, uh, save this one and then run. You will notice that it is reading the correct data from Microsoft Access database. Therefore, as you add more data, it will be displayed in this report and you can even print the, the data. You can also opt to zoom your report from that point that way, so that you, you can actually see what you have. Therefore, this is how you design and create data that is in Microsoft Visual Basic. And uh, I have used the simplest method for making sure that data uh, has been read through the data environment and uh, the report object or a report generate uh, that is the report generation um, procedure. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. See you in a minute.